we are going to welcome Corey up onto the stage uh, to talk about the impact evaluator. So Corey, when you're ready, feel free to share your, uh, your video and your audio. Welcome to the stage. Um, and I'll get out of the way so that you can, uh, you can take it from here. Awesome. Well, first off, thank you so much, Jacob, and just all the amazing individuals, the brilliant minds that have gone into planning this event. It's really just been awesome to see uh, take shape and super honored and grateful for the chance to chat about something I think is pretty cool. So uh, my name's Corey, uh, and I work on Protocol Labs' um, network goods team, and specifically the network funding group. So we work on sort of novel funding mechanisms and incentive mechanisms um, for allocating capital towards public goods. Um, and we we're doing this pretty interesting experiment, I think over the course of space warp, um, that's basically using these things called impact evaluator rounds to populate a public open builders leaderboard. Um, so what exactly does that mean? How exact, how will you like really interact with it? So I'll walk you through really kind of what, what the steps are to, to join this kind of initiative. Are, and then I'm going to just tell you more about kind of like why it is that we're we're doing that. So joining the round really simply, you can learn all about it just from this simple Bitly limb, link down there. So uh, bit.ly uh, slash spacewarp IE. Um, and the first step really simply for being eligible to participate is just submitting your own project. Um, so each team can be represented by one individual um, that can submit um, up to two projects, but we typically recommend that you actually just submit one to try to concentrate your votes into into one initiative. And that first round submissions are due on Monday. So definitely be sure to, once you have all of your sort of like the different eligibility pieces, which you can read more about at that link, things like your GitHub repo up and running. Um, and um, it's nice to kind of populate your, your project's profile with something like a URL or just um, kind of fleshing out like the the really concise description of your project, things of that sort. Um, check out that link and you can read all about the, the round and it has the form in which you can submit your actual project. So then you'll actually join once you put your project into the round as an evaluator to assess what you feel is the quality of the other projects participating in that round. Um, so I'm going to dive into this in this next slide, uh, but basically you're signing up for Protocol Labs' Impact Evaluator tool on Monday, where you'll have the chance basically to vote on other projects um, and allocate these things called voice credits and then submit that into the actual round. So then the last piece is once all the projects are uploaded into the round, um, the different builders do the evaluation process. Um, you'll see we basically take those results and publish them into a public leaderboard format. Uh, and then the top projects basically will win a portion of a 75K prize pool, which we've set up for um, the kind of overall initiative of the impact evaluator rounds. So in total, we're having seven rounds and there was four early builders, the members of the Foundry Early Builders Program, an initial pilot round that happened just before or right in the middle of December. Um, and the next round coming up is, again, starts the 25th for voting, but projects are due on the 23rd. And so I just grabbed some screenshots so you can visualize like what exactly the voting will look and feel like, but it uses this evaluation method called quadratic voting, uh, where you'll have um, 50 voice credits that you can allocate basically to the different top projects um, that you feel are most valuable for the space or for um, FEM. Um, those rounds will happen about every two weeks. We're also going to try to do a live round um, in uh, at basically East Denver, so in Denver during all the festivities. Um, and you can see that the round size grows with time. So it's important to join each round uh, because you'll be able to filter the leaderboard, which I'll show you on this next screen, by either the most recent rounds results or the total votes. Um, so this is a really early, very lean wireframe of what the leaderboard is gonna look like, which it's scheduled to launch next week in a much more aesthetically pleasing and robust format. Um, but you can see that the leaderboard basically has the updated um, round results for the most recent round and for all of the total, the total rounds that that project has participated in. Um, that's actually the real leaderboard votes uh, 
with the total votes being sort of a mock-up doubling the pilot round, but that is the the places one through six from the most recent round um, for just kind of a fun FYI. So basically you'll be able to see and learn more about the project on the leaderboard by like expanding and seeing more kind of details about it. Um, and you'll have a really cool opportunity to basically showcase your work to the community. And the rounds will go on actually beyond the end of the hackathon. So all the way up until the end of March. Um, and in total, it'll be this place where you can learn more about the other projects that are building on FEM. You can see this kind of like community aggregated sense of what is seen as like the most valuable projects. Um, and those that are participating in both the project submission and in the evaluation process will be eligible to win from the prize pool. So all the details you can find uh, here at this link, which is bit.ly backslash space warp IE. Um, and if you do have any questions or anything of the sort, you can definitely reach out to me. I'm in the um, all basically all the channels, uh, but another good, easy way to do so is emailing impact-evaluator at protocol.ai. Um, so thank you all so much for your time. If you have any questions, definitely please feel free to reach out and best of luck to all the hackers. Awesome. Thank you, Corey. Um, and I think also if anybody uh, is kind of looking back to Kartik's earlier presentation, you'll note that uh, we're going to do weekly check-ins for the hackathon anyway. Um, so really we're asking very similar information to the form that Corey just mentioned. Uh, so you're already doing the work, so you might as well sign up and be on the leadership board. So um, awesome. Well, thank you very much, Corey.